August 21, 1983, a day forever etched in the memory of Filipinos. The noonday sun beats down on a prostrate, blood-spattered figure in safari white, the name Benigno Aquino Jr., Ninoy for short, his age 50, clutched in his right hand a broken rosary. His mission, reconcile the Filipino people and restore democracy. The bullet that snuffed out Ninoy's life spawned the bloodless Elsa Revolution on February 22 to 25, 1986. What was Ninoy really like? Who was he? What made him tick? Everybody marveled at his courage, his heart. Where did he get it? What spiritual wells nourished the soul? There are many answers like Cross Karen's in a raging river. Courage is not for the asking, Nino once said. The heart lifts and the body throbs only when somebody else has the courage to die for his principles and convictions. Death was still far away when Ninoy did two things not long after his father's death. Ninoy became a journalist and covered the Korean War, age 17 to 18. Then he married Cori Kohuanko, age 21. Marriage to Cori Kohuanko was a godsend. Highly educated herself, Cori had the intellect patience and understanding Ninoy needed. And it came as no surprise that when the thunder broke into a tempest after Ninoy's death, Cory picked up Ninoy's torch and strode forth to battle. There was just one more step to take after the marriage to Cory. Enter politics. Here was Ninoy going faster, higher, stronger than everybody else on his level. Youngest mayor at 23, youngest provincial vice governor at 27, youngest provincial governor at 28, youngest senator of the REM at 35. Only the presidency remained. Looming over Ninoy was the formidable figure of President Ferdinand Marcos.